What's happening on YouTubers? Doing a video today on the new Masteroff Bob Trizula CTF, which is Compact Tactical Folder. All right, so done with Masteroff. The, the drop is now over and there is none available. And it was limited to 500 pieces of each color. So this is the OD green. And they were about $149.99, I believe. $139, $149, somewhere around there. You've got a three inch blade and let's actually go into the more detailed specs here. S35 VN steel, G10, liner lock, made by Wee Knives if I haven't said that already. All right, so your packaging you get is this nice box here and then your typical Wee, it says master up on it, but this is very typical to Wee and then it comes in a padded case, which is always nice. So good packaging. So you've got cage ceramic bearings on this one, which is nice. Nice little uh, upgrade there. You've got a flat grind, uh, saber grind on this one. G10 backspacer. A, this is not, this is titanium liners. It is carbonized, so you're not going to have any lock stick, which I don't have any. Uh, you got some jimping on the back of the flipper here, as well as the, well, that's obviously the same. <laughs> Where your thumb rests right there which is nice so the flipper completely disappears when it's um let me zoom in a bit here actually zoom in a little bit more than that give you a good look at it um when it's uh shut so you don't even see the flipper so ceramic detent ball hardened steel stop steel steel stop pin and pivot you have a length of 3.2 inches on the blade 0.128 thickness Closed inches, uh, closed length is 4.4, and your handle width is just right at a half inch, which is pretty normal. Overall length 7.6, weighs 3.1 ounces. So there's all your specs and all that garbage. Oh, not that's not garbage. It's important stuff. So first impressions: Do I like it? What do I like about it, etc. Yes, I like it actually. It's very smooth. You can tell it's on ceramic bearings. I think the centering has moved on this one a little bit. It came perfectly centered and it has gone over to the left a little just by flipping it which is interesting so I'll have to make an adjustment there but so it flips really nicely very smooth um, thumb disc works fine as well I find that the middle finger flick works best let's back that out a little bit uh, with a thumb disc more than an actual thumb unless you're slow rolling it if you're slow opening it, it works really well just to flick it open with your thumb I mean it works but it's uh, the best opening method is the flipper. The flipper works great, and you know it's nice to have multiple options. You can also use the f the blood groove or fuller here in the blade to slowly open the knife as well. So it's got a good detent. It's kind of in the middle of all the detents where you'd want it to be able to open all of those different ways. So that's nice. You have a titanium pocket clip here, which is actually really well done. It's all bronzed. You know, the the uh, liners are all bronzed, so it looks really handsome. The hardware is all bronzed. I mean, all the, what you're, it's such a good value for what you're getting here because all that extra stuff and you're only paying 130 or 145 bucks, you know, 150 bucks. Not deep carry by any stretch. Um, that's an example of how it's going to carry in the pocket. So not deep carry. The, the pocket clip works well, though. It's not too stiff. It's It comes in and out of the pocket very nicely, which is good. The drama on this knife was about this logo here which is the dragon, which Bob Terzula mentioned in an Instagram video. He usually only puts on his customs. He, I guess the original knife was going to have Terzula written on it and then Master up on this side. Uh, this is number 103 of 500, by the way. Kind of a little serial, serial number. I like it, though. I like how there's just Master up here and just the Terzula dragon logo there. I think that's really cool. I think it keeps the blade more sterile. I like that. Some people... We're up in arms about it, and Master Up even offered a discount to those that bought. So kind of strange, but um, it came in black, OD green, and tan G10. I liked the OD green and the black. Went with the, the uh, OD. Let's do some size comparisons. The Spyro Brower, different different colors of green, quite quite a bit different, and different size of knife. This one's quite a bit smaller. Uh, the 940 would be a good comparison size. I think the 940 is a titch longer in the handle. How about the bug out?
bug out is nearly identical in size. So it's about the same size as the bug out. And here is a small Sabenza as another size comparison. There you go. So, so far so good on this one, guys. First impressions is good. It's weird that the centering has moved a little bit for me. Um, I have no idea why that's happened. It doesn't feel loose. There's no play in the blade or anything. Where are all my bits at? What in the world? They've all spilled out somehow. That's weird. Uh, I'm assuming it's a T8. That's a T9. That's a 7. Where the heck is my 8? 6. I'm assuming these body screws are 6s. They're not. Looks like it's going to be 8 right or all the way around. There's my 8 right here. So that side of the pivot is very very much secured. So let's try this other side. But it looks like they're going to be T8 on the bodies. Yep, that one was a little loose. So that's pretty much just spinning when I that's weird. When I opened the box, the centering was perfect. Now it's it's leaning a little to the left. Because <laughs> I think when I do this, it's going to move the other side of the pivot, which it does. So you're going to need two T8 uh, drivers, which is, I hate that. It's kind of annoying. What do you do? So I'll fix that centering. Maybe I'll do a separate disassembly video um, on this knife for you guys and try to fix the centering. But overall, first impressions are solid. Um, G10 is nice, nicely textured, has some nice contouring, it's very comfortable in the hand. Ergonomically, the knife is very comfortable in the hand. Um, I have a medium-sized glove, and you see it's about perfect, just about perfect size. This is pretty much my wheelhouse where I like to be at. The Brower is probably on the low, I mean, very, very small. I don't want to go smaller than that, but I've been loving this one, too. I've been carrying this one every day since I got it. Um, so I've been excited about this one, and I have another new one coming in tomorrow or Thursday, the latest ZT470. Pretty excited about that one. That should be about around this size, I would imagine. Yeah, that pivot's just spinning. Hold on. Oh, Nelly. Huh? I might have just fixed it. So what you want to do is adjust on the right side. Yeah, look at that. Solid, no play. Perfectly centered. So just a little adjustment. Maybe I won't do a disassembly video. Let me know if you guys want me to. I will. I'm not going to right now, but if you'd like to see one, let me know, and I will do one. But that's ultra smooth. Uh, I was able to fix the centering just there, which is great. So, yeah, the quality is great, as usual, as you expect from Wii Knives. Um, never been let down once by a Wii Knife uh, in any of that I've owned. So, it's always a positive, positive thing. What do you, what do you guys think about this one? I, I'm not, I, I like the spear point blade. I like the, th I don't know if I, yeah, I do like the thumb disc. It's a different look. I like it. It's obviously functional. Um, it's used to open the knife. Gives you multiple options. Um, Jeez, why am I having a hard time? Middle finger, there we go. So you can do that. You can do thumb flick, slow roll, and you've got the flippers. you got multiple options. I like the blade shape. I like the satin finish on the blade. Um, really well done by Wii and Masterop. I think this is another great collaboration. And for the money, these deals are so good, guys. I mean, 140 bucks, 150 bucks for this guy. I mean, that's less than the Brower by 30 plus dollars and it's a little bit bigger knife smoother action a little bit better blade still um you gotta love it what, what they're doing uh with with mass drop and sometimes you wait a long time this knife was announced a long time ago i don't remember when exactly when i signed up for the drop but it's been quite a bit of time let's see actually that is the one downside but um, estimated ship date was September 28th. They pretty much nailed that timeline, so that's pretty cool. Let's see here. 
15 hours ago. Let's go oldest. Uh, we can't, apparently. I was going to see how long the drop was. I don't even remember. It's been quite a long time, quite a few months, but that is the down drop, the downside with um, mass drop is having to wait, but um, worth it because you get such a good deal and good value on the knives. I haven't been disappointed with, whoa, hold on. Okay, I must have, I must have moved that over or it must not have been fully engaged. I'm like, that lock just fell on me. Um, it's kind of a thin liner lock, I will say. That is one thing. And it does have some nice jimping here to disengage it. But it is a little thin. But I don't feel like... Yeah, it's, it's solid lockup. And the carbonized lock face is nice. So, a little thin on the liner. I wouldn't... Hard to use this one, probably. But as a good a general EDC knife, um, you know, the combat tactical folder, or compact tactical folder is what he calls it, Bob. And he is kind of the pioneer of tactical folders, really. So... I would say this is, you know, you could be use it in that um, way as well. It's got a nice blade shape for that, nice point for piercing, nice reinforced tip. It came pretty dang sharp too out of the box. Just got some little posty notes here, so let's check that sharpness. Yeah, very sharp. Nice edge on it. Oh, guys, I think it's a pretty good deal and a pretty good um, knife. I like it. Let me know your thoughts down below and let me know if you want to see a disassembly video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.